Hi everyone, welcome to Van House Conversions. Um, sorry there's not been another video sooner. Um, it's been a mad few months. Um, managed to get another conversion done, uh, which was a Mercedes Sprinter. Um, that one's due back in the new year for um, basically painting, decorating, staining, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so that I've got some video footage of that that I'm going to be uploading um, with a bit of a voiceover just running through the van um, and then I'll do a proper van tour when that one's back um, in, in the new year and we've finished it off. Um, and recently I've been working on uh, an ex-Scottish ambulance uh, which is a Peugeot um, L4 H4 so it's the tallest and longest one they do of that chassis. Um, the owners put a lot of effort into kind of stripping it out and brought it to us um, to, to basically finish off. Um, so I'll take you around now and have you let you have a quick look at and how that's going. Um, he's actually collecting it this afternoon, um, so he will be finishing off the build himself. But we've done uh, 20 days on it to get it, um, you know, at a stage where he can actually finish it himself. Um, and yeah, so it's been a long road, um, but yeah, it's turned out really nice. Um, we've used some new gear on there as well that I've, I don't think anyone else has used yet. Um, I'll quickly show you around the van and see what you think. Um, so this is the van. Um, one of the main things we fitted is the um, newly released IMAS instant hot water boiler made in Germany. Um, so it's fully certifiable. Um, it's not cheap, but it's you know it's a quality bit of kit. The faceplate comes off, so you could have that painted to match any body colour really. Um, and installation's actually very straightforward. You essentially just cut a hole um, and, and make a sort of support behind and fit it in and seal it. Um, instructions are very clear, um, and I will be using this on my library bus as well. Um, and then I'll take you around to the inside. We fitted a reversing camera brake light. Um, also a 325 watt Panasonic uh, solar panel. Um, and a max air roof fan as well. Um, the owner previously put in a skylight himself. Um, so we've got uh, the shower behind the driver's seat. Um, just been finishing it off, so there will be obviously a, a sort of faceplate going on the base of the shower. Um, he wanted to keep the insulation underneath the floor so the shower tray is not being mounted directly to the skin of the van, which is what I would normally do just to give you more head height. But it's about 2.1 meters in here, so you've got masses of headroom. Um, Let's quickly open the back doors, actually. So there'll be a bed at the rear. He's got a mattress um, in storage at the moment, which should be coming out, and he's got some slats which are laying on the floor in the lounge area at the moment that'll be going on there to spread the load a bit. Um, so that's the, the, eye, the rear of the eye mass. So you've got hot and cold. Um, hot, uh, hot water outlet and cold water inlet and obviously gas feed and 12 volt sat power supply for the spark and then you've got the, the display which is um, yet to be mounted he hasn't decided whether he wants that yet um, and we've got a shore flow 30 psi pump with accumulator and inline filter um, I've used John Guest uh, push fit fittings from my favourite place Screwfix um, decided to use these um, instead of using uh, barb fittings and jubilee clips just for something different really and, the, and to test it out uh, really happy with it first try um, using the water system about half an hour ago and absolutely no leaks so yeah, it is as good as you would imagine it to be um, John Guest is a quality brand you know they are a bit more expensive than going with with um, I think Flowplast make make similar fittings and HEP 2O as well but John Guest I've always read are really really good um, we've also got two AGM um, 130 amp hour batteries uh, we've got a 12 way fuse box there um, and a 1500 and max output 3000 watt um, inverter um, and an EPVA um, solar charge controller running all of the all of the well the, the solar panel on the roof um, and as you can see from the rear, you get a better view. Um, the windows are really heavily tinted, so it's quite difficult to get it just until the lights have gone in. He's going to have lighting underneath this cupboard here, um, one underneath the kitchen and one in the shower, so he wants quite minimal lighting. Um, but yeah, really happy with how it's turned out. It's got, you know, uh, we've managed to box in all of the metal work and have made it look really, um, really homely in here, I think. Um, I'll take you around the other side to show you where else he's in here. So obviously he's got storage running all the way along the, the roof there 
and we've tone grooved the ceiling. Um, he will be putting fabric on the walls here actually at the kind of head and base of the bed. Um, there'll be a timber going up in between, well, where the, where the window meets the bed, there'll be a timber going up there and tongue and groove um, all the way up to the shower. So from in the van, you can see we've got a lovely bed area back there, um, fits a double mattress, I think, from Ikea. Uh, made this really nice curved divider. Um, and then obviously he'll be finishing off all the cupboards. This was just to kind of get him to a stage where it was, you know, realistic to finish it. I think it got a bit much, all of the stripping out of all of the ambulance um, equipment. There was boxes and boxes of wiring he showed me. Um, so we've got a nice gloss black double hob um, running on LPG. Um, it does have a 230 volt spark, um, but he's, you know, rather, would rather just use a, you know, like an oven lighter um, to, to spark it. Uh, he's got a CRX 80 fridge. Um, I believe this is the new faceplate from, from Dometic. I think it looks quite smart actually, and the, the, the actual handle to open it is a bit better than the previous models. So I'm hoping they'll all be like this moving forward. Um, and then he's got a Thetford duplex, my favourite oven. Really simple, um, no electric supply needed. Uh, it's just a push button spark and then a uh, gas supply. Um, so we've got Propex kindly installed the gas tank. So there's an underbody 25 litre gas tank um, that's got mani a manifold running up here for obviously the hob and the oven. Um, and then there's another one underneath the boiler. Uh, Propex didn't supply the heater for this van, the owner was insistent on using a, a diesel heater so that's something he will be getting installed by um, a friend of mine. Um, I pr preferably I want to install Propex in every van that we that we build um, as the Chinese heaters aren't certifiable. It's got masses of um, storage up the top here. Really pleased with how the bulkhead and the storage area sort of flows. Again, obviously it's a lot, long way to go yet until it's decorated and, and finished off, but I think once it's been stained and varnished, there's, it will look really, really nice in here. And the layout, I think, works really well as well. You've obviously got a big garage area. We um, have got a bike um, slide-out rack, which, which will be going underneath the bed. I'll just be waiting for him to arrive so we can, we can decide exactly how far back or far forward he wants it. Um, and yeah, um, we've obviously got all the plumbing running along here and the battery cables running up to the front. Um, he'll be building a, a bench seat here with a built-in composting toilet. Um, again, we just haven't had the time to get to that stage really. He, he asked us to do 20 days and, and the, the van was basically bare when it, when it arrived. So um, the vinyl flooring was down. Personally, not my my taste, um, but I believe he's going to be putting some kind of flooring on top of this. This was more just in case there was a leak or something like that, that the water wasn't getting onto the, the actual floor of the van. Um, he's got a Sterling uh, split charge unit here. It's quite a heavy unit compared to a Durite. Um, again, Durites are, are fine. I believe this is slightly more friendly to the AGM batteries though. Um, so I've um, you know installed everything he, he provided me with basically um, as you can see it used to have the ambulance uh, display panel there um, so that's all been removed um, yeah sad sad not to see it all the way through to completion but um, not always the, what we do here you know if someone's really stuck on their build we're quite happy to to, to finish it off or, or you know take it get it to a certain stage or even just do all the insulating uh, ply lining wiring plumbing and give it back to you as an empty box essentially just with all, everything in place um, all of the wiring and plumbing on this fan was all done um, afterwards so he wanted it all in board so he could you know get to it in case there was any any changes he wanted to make or anything like that um, Generally, I would I would do all of the wiring within the walls and uh, behind the insulation, so you've got, you know, wiring for spotlights, etc., or downlights where you need them. Um, but uh, you know, every build's different. So, um, um, and as I said, uh, we'll be doing a uh, another video in the next week, just just basically um, showing you the clips from the Sprinter, which is coming back. So, like I said, we'll do a full van tour on that one when uh, when it's when it's all decorated um, in the new year. Um, I'm actually starting in, a, in, um, in January starting a uh, extra long wheelbase sprinter which is a full build from start to finish. Um, lovely lady that's got a Buddhist uh, retreat over in Wiltshire. 
Um, she is, you know, very in line with how I'd like to do the van, so it's going to be a very pretty sort of, um, you know, cabin sort of style um, van. And uh, yeah, she's she's you know she's an artist herself, so she, you know, her and I are, are bouncing ideas off each other about how that's going to turn out. Um, so yeah, it should be beautiful, um, and there'll be a full van tour on that um, and various progress videos like there was with the crafter. So I'm going to get a bit more on on the ball with YouTube videos and, and start providing a lot more content. Um, um, and also we've got a library bus. Um, this is my sort of dream vehicle really to build. Uh, it's a seven and a half ton Mercedes Vario library bus uh, from behind the driver's seats. It's just over seven meters and 2.4 wide um, and, and even taller than this one on the inside. So that will be uh, mine and my other half and, and the big dog. And that'll be our full time home when it's finished. So that'll be a sort of weekend and evenings project when, whenever we've got time really, or I'm not exhausted from, from working on, on customer bills and obviously give everything 110%. So, um, you know, want to make sure that um, our one doesn't take precedence or up, take up any time um, from customer bills, but at the same time, you know, it's a, it's a dream vehicle really. So we're going to try and do like a build series of that vehicle. Um, from start to finish um, and maybe contacting George Clark's amazing spaces as well see if they're interested you know they may not be but there, there weren't many of them made um, and I've not been able to find really any sort of um, any build series apart from one chap that, st that started one but hasn't finished it yet um, so yeah so it's, it's amazing it's, it's you know it's a big box on the back of a, of a Vario basically so it would be perfect for a full-time home for me and my other half and the dog um, we're thinking about even putting a, a bath in it um, probably 1500 watts of solar on the roof and as many lithium-ion batteries that we can afford um, or gradually add more and more as time goes on um, but yeah thank you for watching um, apologies again it's been such a long time I think it's been about two months since I've uploaded a video um, but they will become more frequent um, and yeah there'll be a van tour of the Sprinter once we've finished off the decorating of that and then a full tour of the extra long wheelbase Sprinter which I'm starting in January um, so yeah and it's a lovely van as well it's you know silver um, great condition um, so yeah thank you for watching and um, uh, keep, keep, keep an eye out for any new videos and um, please like and subscribe um, if you haven't already and um, yeah look forward to seeing you again soon thank you